So another thing I like to do quite often from a usability perspective when it comes to forms is about really showing users the correct information. So what do I mean by that? Well, a lot of times what happens is we're all working off the same list, maybe the same library, and there could be a lot of fields that go into that. And it's not only about something like content types where you could have different fields for different content types, but a lot of times you could have different people that actually need to see different fields on there. So what you can see here is we made actually this is kind of a default form here that we've modified um, as part of this process because what it is is just a submission of an expense and amount and the data is submitted and the associated client here just a very simple form that I can do to create some kind of expense record that goes into this well what is the difference well then actually when an editor comes in they're actually seeing some additional fields here including the approval status and the approval date that they can actually look at it so why the big deal about that well you think this is a very simple form and maybe something that doesn't have a lot of process around there but think of how many different times we have extensive processes around things when really all we need people to do to really kick off that process is fill out pieces A, B, and C, and then everything else that needs to be tracked as part of that process actually is something that's more for administrative or different users and that kind of stuff. One case that I always think of is we did a maintenance request one time for a client a system, and, and really all that needed to happen is the person needed to submit the problem, the location of the problem, and then really everything from there just came out to the thing that the uh, maintenance manager needed to do it, from figuring out funding to figuring out who was going to do the work, all those kind of stuff, and then you had the same things that the people that were doing the maintenance needed to do, which is track the hours, how much did it cost, all these different things like that, and it was all tracked in one list but what happened is they all saw different views of that list and they also worked with different forms in that list so one of the really great things that we can do in SharePoint is really easily create not only custom forms but also change the regular forms to match more of real-world use case versus showing everybody all the fields all the time